Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Dennis. Um, I had a request from a subscriber. Uh, Josh was his name. Actually, other people have asked this very same question. Um, he asks, how do you decide which two, which two alternating bass notes you use while you're Travis picking for each of the chords that you play? And that's a very good question. And so it, it stimulated me and was providing the impetus for this particular tutorial. Now, uh, I'm calling this Travis Picking 2.0, although it's still kind of for beginners. Um, most of the people that uh, uh, have probably already learned this pattern uh, that I'm showing you here now. And... I'll also include links in the description below to take you to my earlier tutorials, which are more designed for beginners. If you have found this particular tutorial and, and haven't learned this pattern yet. So, um, but anyway, and I'm also going to use the song Just Breathe by Eddie Vedder because his Travis Picking style, at least for this song, and also for Tuolumne, or Tulum, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's the exact same Travis picking pattern that I teach in my tutorials um, on my YouTube channel. Incidentally, it's the exact same pattern that uh, the song Dust in the Wind by Kansas utilizes. That's the exact same Travis picking pattern that I teach. It's a fun pattern, and once you learn it, once you master it, it'll take you a week, uh, but it, it's just so much fun to play. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started in trying to answer Josh's questions about which two alternating bass notes are used for each chord in the Travis picking pattern. For example, on a D chord, that's played on four strings. That pattern is played on four strings. Uh, a C chord is played on five strings, and the G chord is played on six strings. But the Travis picking pattern revolves around the four high strings. Whether you're playing a D chord on four strings or a C chord on five strings or a six string chord like a G chord, the only thing that's different is downbeat one. Otherwise, the pattern after that is played the same on a four string chord, a five string chord, or a six string chord. And that makes the D string, the alternate bass string for the chord. And don't forget that that whole pattern ends with the G plucked with the thumb on the last part of the bar, always. Let me show you. All right, now once you learn the pattern, uh, you need to apply it uh, appropriately. Here for the G chord, we need to uh, hit that uh, low E string where we're fretting the G note on the third fret of that low E string. Uh, so that the C chord here is played on five strings, and we're not going to involve that low E string. So the pattern is applied to five strings. And then the D chord and the D minor and the D seventh are all played on the four bottom strings, the D string being the bass note of all of those chords. So, so it just boils down to knowing which strings to play the appropriate chords.
Now, the only thing that's different, whether you're playing a G chord or a C chord or an a, a D chord, uh, whether it's a six string chord or a five string chord or a, a four string chord, it, it, the only thing that's different is the pinch at the beginning. Uh, here for this C chord, you're seeing that pinch to ensure that you hit that bass note C on the fifth string. And then the, the internal rolling and the red and the completion with the um, G note in purple is the same. Played the same way for whether it's a six string chord, a five string chord, or a four string chord as shown here. All right, now back to the uh, subject matter, uh, which uh, how you select the two alternating bass notes that you're using uh, for each chord. Now, uh, this C chord, the uh, bass note is on that fifth string at the third fret, and that's plucked with the pinch. Um, that uh, thumb on the bass note plucked at the same time with the middle finger on the high E string and then followed by that internal rolling in red which I teach uh, in my uh, beginning tutorials on Travis Picking. And then completed with that thumb on the G string in purple and that's how every bar ends. Now, for the D minor chord, uh, or a D major, or a D uh, seventh, or a D minor seventh, or a D major seventh, they're all played like this. You pinch the uh, bass note of the chord, uh, which is the D, open D note, with the middle finger on the high E string. Uh, I call that a pinch, followed by the stuff in red, the internal rolling of the inside strings, and then the outside strings and completed with that thumb on the G string, which is how all of these bars measure, no matter if it's a four string chord or a five string chord or a six string chord. So the bass notes here are both Ds. Now for an A minor chord, which is a five string chord, you're going to pluck that that open A string uh, for your bass note uh, with that middle finger on the high E string, that pinch, uh, that ensures you playing that first uh, bass note, which is that A on the open A string, and then you do that internal rolling um, on the inside strings first, and then the outside strings, and then completed with that G on um, with the thumb in purple. Um, so. The alternating bass notes in this chord are the A and the D string. Actually, the D string becomes the alternating bass note of all these chords. So in conclusion, I want you to just observe the D note, the open D string, whether you're playing it open or on a chord, that becomes the second bass note in the alternating uh, pattern. So with the C chord, there's that bass note. With the G chord, you got to hit the bass note. But after the first downbeat in my pattern, the pattern is played the exact same way, whether it's a string, six string chord, a five string chord, or a four string chord. The pattern is played the same way after that initial pinch. For the five string chord, and for a four string chord, the pinch on the D string, So that D note, that D string, becomes the alternate bass note in every chord. So I hope that helps you. And don't forget to uh, check out my beginning tutorials, uh, especially the last one, Learn to Travis Pick in 15 Minutes. I think that'll, that's where I got the color-coded scheme uh, that I think will get you started 
Travis picking a lot sooner. Anyway, thanks. Have a great day. See you next time.